you know, really took it a long time. Like this? Perfect. Okay, put it there. See how flat I got it? That's for somebody who didn't know they were going to have this extra. Okay. Hammer. We're ready to put them in the pan. Okay, put it. I want you to go a little bit flat on yours. Flatter. Pretty flat. Good, perfect. I've always wanted to have a cooking class, and I would like, to, and I've always wanted to name it after my mother. She's passed away now, Katie Lee Parker Simmons. So I call it Kate's Kitchen. One thing I wanted to do with the young boys here: not only do we serve them food every day, uh, very nutritious homemade meals, I wanted to empower them to learn how to cook so they can feel self-sufficient, even at an early age. Most of them are coming from single parent homes, uh, single mothers that are working very hard, and I thought it would be uh, a positive influence on the whole family if that young teenager could learn how to cook and impress his mom one day, and they have brothers and sisters at home. I thought, well, hey, just tell her, I want to help mom. Look what I've done. Look, look what I've learned at Heroes Camp. I wasn't down to just bawling and, playing basketball and running around. I've learned a little skill. I want to impress you. Yeah, like that. Perfect, perfect. Now, everybody, what do you got? Look at what you have your, uh, uh, your eggs on. You're not, you know, well, you if see. you take mine off. Mine was off. I, yours off? Further, my dad uh, was an excellent cook. Men love to cook because they love to eat, so why not start them early is what I say. Not only do we feed them here, but when they go home, sometimes it's to empty pantries and empty refrigerators. And to me, that creates a food insecurity. Uh, most people in America do not experience that. But we do have food insecurity right here in St. Joseph County. This is a major concern of us at Heroes Camp and dealing with young boys that are very active. They're gonna run around, they're gonna shoot hoops, they're gonna have some fun, dance, kitten around, but they are hungry. And I think if we gave them a tool that they could use uh, for basic meals, is what I'm teaching here. Uh, it's not a rocket scientist, but I'm hoping that maybe they'll catch on and say, you know what, maybe Maybe I don't feel so embarrassed if I go to the food service industry and start a part-time job and learn how to further cook. So when by us laying the foundation of them in a kitchen, understanding food, understand how to prepare it, how to stay clean with it, how to be safe with it, who knows? The future is wide open to them. I mean, come on, you could go uh, to culinary school in a local college you could get trained faster as a line cook at, at one of the nice restaurants we got here. And they are well-paid jobs. Yeah, but it's joint. You know what I mean. <laughs> well, what I decided to do after much prayer is to have four classes every uh, uh, in a session. Four classes, so that's four weeks. And the reason why I wanted to do that is not to overwhelm them. And the main part of this is to honor the four graduates after they graduate. So you're gonna learn how to cook some basic things that boys love. So it's not like I figure these menus out on my own. I sort of know what they like because I've fed them for quite a few years. And then we'll have a celebration where we present them the completed graduates of the four weeks Kate's Kitchen cooking class what do you get when you complete this class course? Well, one, one thing you get is recognition with your peers, that you started something and you finished it. That's real key to young boys. Then they take home, which I am excited about, to get this to the mothers also, all the equipment they cooked on. I don't want anything used from anybody for these young boys. They've had enough of that. And so when they go home, I want a brand new skillet, I want a brand new grill in the box and a brand new crock pot and utensils. They deserve that because God cares about them. And that's what he said, if I deny the desires of the poor, I'll let the eyes of the widow grow weary. If I've kept my bread to myself, 
not sharing it with the fatherless. But from my youth, I reared him as I would rear as a father. Using my athleticism, my family um, orientation, my racial background, the insights that I had by living in the office of Revelation, um, I birthed heroes camp. It came out of the womb of my spirit. Too often, men make babies, but they don't birth babies. And birthing a baby takes the ability to pray a thing through day in and day out, and it wears on you, and you carry it. And it dictates to you, uh, through the will of God, what you should do and what you ought not do while you're pregnant. Now I'm not pregnant no more with Heroes Camp. Now I'm pregnant with the kingdom of God uh, through Heroes Camp, as far as Heroes Camp neighborhood, chapel, uh, the Heroes Camp dormitory, the gear shop, and other things to make the playing field level. Uh, there's kids in the gym right now um, who uh, father just recently died. Uh, brothers, two guys out there who brother got shot last year. Uh, you know, they get what they need, you know? If you, want, if, you, if you want to get what you want, well then you probably need to go get a job. But if you're going to get what you need, your daily bread, uh, some, some gym shorts, some sneakers, some deodorant, some hygiene products, the word, the love, um, food, knowledge, prophetic advice, um, being instant in season, out of season, word of knowledge, word of wisdom, uh, spirit of wisdom flows in this ministry, uh, consistency. So uh, I want to invite people to, if they want to sponsor uh, one of the classes, it's for students. Uh, and we are 501C3. We're able to issue a tax receipt at the end of the year for your taxes. Thank you, guys. Give me some hands. Say for instance, last night, I was so tired. I had been watching my three grandkids because they had meetings. And, and I went to Dollar General to sort of prepare some things for what I needed today. And I was so tired, I had no one to help me go to my car. And, and this one young lady um, at this Dollar General, she said, I got three boys. And it made me cry. She said, I want them to come to Heroes Camp on Saturday, but I just moved here and I got a job at this Dollar General and I don't have no way to get them there. And I said, oh, wow. She said, because sometimes I only have enough gas to get to work and back. And so, what do you do? So, um, she helped me carry my groceries out, big bottles of water, because I'm trying to lose weight, big bottles of water. She carried it out to my car, and I gave her $30, my last $30. I said, fill your car up with gas and let me know. Maybe I could swing by or get somebody to pick them up because we don't have transportation here. I care about this. This is not something I'm doing to be on YouTube. I'm doing this because it's a mandate from God. You care about what I care about, BJ. And I'm going to bless you. And I'm going to send the resources. Piece of onion. On top. So that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for uh, those who have that same heart and, and it's not a shame of marginalized uh, young boys that care about what God cares about. Then go online and give. Send us a check. We got, we, we got this part. You help us with the burden. That's, that's, that's my passion and I'm going to do it with people or without people, but I can't do it without God because he helps us every day, every day to get in here and get, get busy. So I hope, hope it hits the mark.